Planet of the Vampires, 1965. Directed by Mario Baba. Starring Barry Sullivan, Norma Bengal, and Angel Aranda. A couple of ships on an exploration mission land on a nearby planet to answer a distress call, where the members of the crew become possessed by unseen forces. I've got a couple of grievances I'd like to air about this film, because it takes false advertising to a whole new level. The title is a massive misnomer. It conjures up some very specific visuals. Alien landscape, there's a spooky castle under a giant glass dome, Dracula shows up, he's got a space helmet on and he says, please, I have a phone you can use inside, ah, ah, ah. What did we get instead? Close your eyes. What you see is what they gave us. The film utilizes the invisible enemy trope, but makes no use of optical effects or in-camera trickery to portray the invisible menace. Furthermore, calling them vampires is an equally large misnomer as well. Vampires are known to feed on the blood or life force of the living. The alien menace simply possesses the living or the dead in this film. The original title roughly translates to Terror in Space, though, so I'm not sure what possessed the filmmakers to change the title so misleadingly when they brought it stateside. Now that I got that out of the way, let's talk about what is in the film. The film is a visual powerhouse, which demonstrates Bava's ingenuity and filmmaking prowess. It looks as visually impressive as classics like Forbidden Planet and This Island Earth, but with less than a third of the budget those other films had. A lot of in-camera trickery was utilized to achieve the striking visuals, ranging from obscuring the modest sets with smoke to using forced perspective and tabletop miniatures. Being a 60s film, there is also a glorious overabundance of color used in almost every frame as well, with bold use of unnatural colored lighting really helping the surface of the planet look otherworldly. The costumes are impressive as well, though I'm not sure what the protagonists who are supposed to be regular human astronauts are doing dressed like vampires who are into bondage. Ib Melchior wrote the screenplay for this film. He also wrote the script for Journey to the Seventh Planet, which I reviewed as well. The similarities between this film and Alien are staggering. A crew being lured onto an alien planet, crew members becoming vessels for alien life forms, this shot of the ship landing on the surface of an alien world, discovering an alien spacecraft, this shot of a spacecraft, the protagonist discovering the calcified remains of an ancient species far larger than humans. The intention to use explosives to blow up a ship to deal with the alien threat. Both films even share special effects work done by Carlo Rambaldi. Though he worked on creature effects in Alien and model work in Planet of the Vampires. Normally, it's Italian studios ripping off Hollywood. It's fascinating how much the tables seem to be turned in this case. Verdict? Meh. Nah. A visually stunning curiosity for fans of the Alien franchise, but not a film about a planet full of vampires. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for a thrilling low-budget adventure.